On segment two tonight, a reboot of the San Francisco skyline. You've probably noticed the new Salesforce Tower. It is the tallest building in the Bay Area. It can be seen from the East Bay and as far away as Highway 37 in Novato. Yeah, you really can't miss it. Salesforce is the anchor tenant, but developers Boston Property and Heinz co-own the tower, with Boston Properties holding a 95% stake. Now, as the building is nearing completion, we found ourselves wondering if the tower will be embraced as a new symbol of San Francisco. As KTV as Mike Meback found out the answer may not be fully known for years to come. The story of the San Francisco skyline, unchanged for decades, well, it's now turning a new page. And on that page, there's a new look, a new vibe, a new building on the block, the Salesforce Tower. Have you dreamt about this building? When I was four, yes. <laughs> Miriam Link is the person in charge, senior project manager for Boston Properties. That's powerful. Well, I, mean, I always liked architecture. Even as a kid, I was drawing tall buildings, high-rise towers. It was I, nobody in my family is in architecture, or real estate, construction, or anything like that. I've always wanted to build towers, so this is perfect. Thirty plus years later, here I am. And here we go. To get to the top of 415 Mission Street, a dark, noisy, nerve-wracking ride inside this shaky hoist. Up to the tippy top, 62. All right, take in the view. But once on the unfinished rooftop, the 360-degree views, brilliant. Just watch your step. There is no wall there, so we're very close to the edge. There's no wall right now. Well, there's cables. Crews are now working on the tower 24 hours a day, preparing for a fall opening. As everybody knows, the biggest building west of the Mississippi. And with that, there's a lot of pride among the thousands who've had a hand in the construction. It's uh, an experience. Um, I'll probably never get to do it again. You know, uh, these buildings uh, don't come along uh, too often on the West Coast. What are you impressed most with in regards to the tower? Oh, just, just the pace. I mean, you've never seen a building go up this quick. Uh, the structure actually went up on a pace of two floors per week. It's, it's pretty incredible. She currently stands at 970 feet, but will soon reach 1,070 in the heart of earthquake country. And just a few blocks from a residential tower that sank 16 inches right into soft soil. This is probably the safest building in the entire city. So if you are working in a high-rise building, this is the building you want to be in. There's been talk of sinking in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, no concerns here. No. Nope. With the we're going into be bedrock. So unless bedrock sinks, there's no way our building settles or sinks or moves. As I walked around the top with Sky Fox overhead, I began to realize the strength of the structure, physically as well as symbolically. But at the same time, when you look down below, I have to wonder whether or not the people of San Francisco, the people of the Bay Area, are actually going to want to embrace the Salesforce Tower. I don't think it will be embraced the way that we embrace the neat, old, ramshackle little neighborhoods. San Francisco Chronicle urban design critic John King is a man who likes to look up. I know a lot of younger people who think it's really cool. King says the Salesforce Tower has grown on him. He describes it as tasteful, well-tailored, and refined. A well-built corporate office tower in a high-rise neighborhood. But on the flip side... My guess is it will never say San Francisco the way that the Transamerica Pyramid does, or the way that Coy Tower does, or the way that the ferry building does. But shouldn't the tallest building in San Francisco do just that? It's tricky, though. How would it do it? I left my... Cities evolve. Cities change. Um, I think it's just a matter of time when, you know, changes happen. It's not necessarily bad. You should preserve her heritage-listed buildings, landmark buildings. But you shouldn't no, say no to new development, new technologies. This is one of the most efficient buildings that are out there. 1.4 million square feet, 61 stories, high ceilings, a vertical campus connected to the new Trans Base Center. Boston Properties says 64% of the building is leased. The anchor tenant, Salesforce, is expected to move in in October. 
as the lower 30 floors as well as the top two floors. The Salesforce Tower will be shorter than one World Trade Center in New York City and the Willis Tower in Chicago, but out here on the West Coast... Is it powerful for you? Yes, it's very powerful. And it's here for the next, I don't know how many decades, right? I mean, generations. This whole, generations. This is changing the skyline, so it's a great project to have. Yeah, there's nothing similar. Like a lot of things, floor. it needs to breathe. It so. needs to be lived in, find its character and personality. A new landmark for a new generation now finding its way into the story of the San Francisco skyline. Mike Meebag, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Salesforce provided a statement about being the anchor tenant. Quote, Salesforce Tower embodies Salesforce's commitment to San Francisco as the city's largest technology employer and will serve as a hub for the community as well as for employees, customers, and partners. The building will be the heart of our global headquarters and represents an incredible milestone in Salesforce's history as we continue to grow at an unprecedented rate. And on our YouTube page, you will see a 360-degree view video from the top of Salesforce Tower. Ooh. The view is dizzying, but it's worth checking out. Just look for KTVU Fox 2 on YouTube.